Outside the state capitol, the sound of bagpipes marked the beginning of this somber ceremony paying tribute to the more than 1,700 California peace officers who died in the line of duty. On hand here, about 2,000 people from the law enforcement community, members of the legislature, and loved ones of the fallen, all to commemorate those who never made it home. Among those who spoke, California Attorney General Rob Bonta. They were called to give their careers and their lives to something bigger than themselves, to make the world a better, safer place for all of us. Governor Gavin Newsom did not speak at the ceremony, but met with law enforcement families and laid an American flag at the Peace Officers Memorial just across from the Capitol. Of course, this ceremony pays tribute to all California peace officers killed in the line of duty, but today is especially about seven who lost their lives in recent years. Among them, the late officer Gonzalo Carrasco Jr. of the Selma Police Department in the Central Valley. He was shot and killed last year, responding to a call just one month before the birth of his baby boy, Maximus. Carrasco Jr.'s family honored their forever hero, and so did Selma Police Chief Rudy Alcaraz. Gonzalo, like so many of our other fallen comrades, epitomized this love for their community. After his remarks, he spoke with us about why he hopes the people of California appreciate the service and sacrifice of officers like Gonzalo Carrasco Jr. Not many people can do something or committed to, to doing something bigger than themselves, and these brave heroes uh, did that. Um, and sacrifice everything to do that. Other law enforcement leaders and attendants, including Riverside County Sheriff Chad Bianco, did not shy away from criticizing state leaders. While he did not name names, he argues policies that have come out of the legislature are too soft on crime and have made California less safe. When we don't feel like we're getting the support, whether it be verbal or real, uh, from our lawmakers here in Sacramento, it's, uh, it's, it's almost like a knife in the back because we are doing everything we can to protect them and we're not getting the same in return. But for this police chief, today is all about remembering the fallen like Carrasco Jr., making sure his memory lives on forever. He'll always be with us. At the state capitol covering local news that matters, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News.